Given the currently difficult conditions for traveling and events, we've decided to opt for a static vehicle presentation and do so on a purely digital platform. But this is not going to be a one-way communication. No, we want to engage in a dialogue with you. So, the event is split up into three parts. Following the reveal of the Q5, Ashley Cleave, as the exterior designer, will talk us through all the details of the reworked car. This is followed by Christian Koenig, who will be in dialogue with me to talk you through the engineering side of the Q5. He's project manager in the technical development. And as the third here, I'm introducing to Michaela Benz. She is product speaker, responsible for the Q5, and thus the expert for all issues to do with marketing and sales. Together, we're all available after the presentation for your Q and A's. But of course, already during the presentation, you're free to send in your questions by writing into the chat window, and we will answer them afterwards. Then we'll start the second part of the sneak preview. And that is the individual photo and VJ session if you have registered your need up front. So, dear guests, the Q5 is the most successful SUV model from Audi. It started in the summer of 2008. It became the first model generation of the Q5 that was built up until the fall of 2016 with 1.6 million units shipped. The second generation since then has continued on the success and now after four years receives a product upgrade. Now what are the features that make the Q5 worldwide such a success? Well, it's definitely its appealing design, its versatility and variability, but also its everyday usability. And of course it's greatly appreciated because of its sportiness and driving performance. Because ultimately, the Q5 carries the technology topic of Quattro quite exemplary in two versions. As particularly efficient Quattro with ultra technology or as the well-known and tried and tested Quattro with torsion mid-diff. But of course, there's other engine transmission versions available with front wheel drive, but we'll come back to that later. But now, I don't want to keep you much longer, dear guests. Here it is the new Audi Q5 in its new look. So I have the pleasure of taking you through the uh, new Q5. Um, we'll start with the front with the Audi Icon, of course, the single frame grille. Um, what we've done here is we've separated it now from the bonnet here and moved the whole thing down. It's now wider and shares the octagonal grille that you'll see in all of the other Q cars that we have at Audi. What we've also done is created a new headlight, um, of course, with a new daytime running light signature. And this is now together with the, uh, with the single frame grille, um, producing a much more focused look for the car. At the sides, this is the S-Line car, so it's the more sporty looking exterior. And we've kind of gone in the direction of the RS, part, uh, RS cars and um, integrated a more vertical kind of uh, um, air intake at the side here. If we move around to the side, we can go past the optional 21 inch Audi Sport um, wheel. And then you see here, we've kept the shoulder line from the um, existing Q5 design. However, we've added a new rocker at the bottom, which works slightly like a bridge to support this, this shoulder line, it makes the car look more athletic. And then if we move around to the rear, we start at the bottom, work our way up. We have a new diffuser. It's a little bit more sporty than before. Um, we've got more integrated design elements and more athletic feeling. Moving upwards, of course, we have now our new Audi digital OLED taillights. Um, this is a, a world first in this segment. Um, and it allows us to uh, offer all of our customers three individual signatures, but Mike will tell us a little bit more about that soon. Um, we've then joined the two tail lights with this, with this bar to really bring the car together and uh, give it a, a much fresher look. So with that, I'll give you back over to Mike and he can tell you more about the tail lights. Thanks a lot, Ashley, for your explanations. Well, I guess I must say, I do like this fresh look very much. And I'm quite convinced that 
Well, design will remain the key purchase argument for the Q5 from the customers buying the Q5. Now, as you know, Audi has been for some time a uh, byword for progressive light technology. Now, Ashley already has stressed the new digital OLED technology in the real light. We would like to show you that in more detail now. OLED is an acronym that stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. So OLEDs are particularly efficient organic light diodes, which unlike the conventional LED, provide a homogeneous light over pretty far and big areas. The customers of the Q5 can, when they order a car, pick one of three rear light signatures. And every signature has a very specific coming and leaving home light scenario. What you can see here is the leaving home function when you open up the car. Now, this animation of signature one, two, and three, as well as a fourth signature, can be activated when you activate the Audi Drive Select Load Dynamic. Now, another function of the digital OLED real light is the approximation detection. If another traffic user or traffic participant comes closer to Q5, anywhere up to two meters, all the OLED segments will be activated. But if the Q5 gets going again, the original light signature shines up again. And a basic fitting with the Q5 are now at the front, LED headlights. And as an option, you can also have matrix LED headlights. And once you've arrived at your destination and you close the Q5, you have the so-called coming home light function being processed. And here again, each of the signatures has its very own and distinct light signature. What we can see here is the light signature one, three, four. Now, the latest infotainment generation, the MIB3, is now also deployed in the Q5. A joint demonstration of some of the features have in the cabin have been done due to Corona and therefore been pre-recorded in this following clip. When you open the car, the car will instantly ask you what is desired to drive a profile. Over the personalization function, you can have up to six individual user profiles stored in the Audi cloud and retrieve in all cars that are connected via the My Audi account. This means the cumbersome adjusting of seats, exterior mirrors, air conditioning and infotainment is a thing of the past. Der Q5 bekommt Q5 nun die neueste now receives the latest infotainment generation, the MIB3, with a 10.1-inch large touch display. Durch die touch Thanks to the touch operation, der you have or will find Handy that the previous rotary switch in the center console can be omitted. Now, the content of the screen can das be split bedeutet, up now. That den means nach Wunsch you can have drei the screen split up können. as requested Hier to three preview windows. Here, for example, the navigation, radio the radio, and the telephone phone menu. Alternative, As an alternative, of course, you can also go back to the classic view with all the menu cantons in freely configurable tile configuration. The voice dialogue system will evaluate online. your voice input also online, which means it becomes a lot more varied and can understand you a lot better. I'll just show you here Navigations by entering a navigation command. Fahre nach München in so die Leopoldstraße Take me to Munich into Leopoldstraße 25. Ich habe die Zielführung gestartet. Und auf einer längeren Strecke wie nach München trip, like tauchen auch mal menschliche Munich, Bedürfnisse You sometimes auf. have human needs cropping up. For example, ich habe Hunger. I'm hungry. Ich suche nach einem Restaurant And it will tell you, I will look for a restaurant along your route. Sie können jetzt weitere Suchbegriffe sagen. You can now enter further search terms or pick ich brauche one of the options. So I say, I need a toilet. Ich suche nach Toilette entlang der Route. I will look for a toilet along your route. Der Verkehrsfluss in Echtzeit traffic flow wird jetzt in real time is now displayed anzeigt. exact to the lane that in you're driving in and predictively. In this particular case, if you're you've got a closed lane in a construction site. Man sieht das am Symbol oben you links. can see it from that symbol to the top left there. Die Parkplatzinformation zeigt parking information auch die will now also indicate the probability of finding a parking space along the road. 
Ein weiterer Dienst Another der Schwarm Intelligenz the ist die Amtinformation information in select cities. Er zeigt dem Fahrer die verbleibende Zeit the remaining time bis zur nächsten Grünphase, grün wenn er an einer phase, roten Ampel wartet. Waiting, for example, at a red und sie gibt ihm eine Geschwindigkeitsempfehlung, mit der er die nächste Ampel so bei Grün passieren kann. Light a green light. Mit der Funktion Function, With function on, demand, on Demand, lässt sich jetzt nachträglich Funktionen freischalten, die bei der Fahrzeugbestellung nicht berücksichtigt werden. Hätte dieser Q5 beispielsweise keinen If this Q5, for example, had, would not have had navigation plus or Audi smartphone so könnte der Besitzer well, diese Funktion nachträglich in seiner My Audi App dazu geben. Und Ihren persönlichen Amazon Alexa Account Und Ihren persönlichen Amazon Alexa Account kann auch die Sprache quite conveniently by voice control in the Q5. Wenn Sie mit dem Q5 mal abseits If you want to take the Q5 off the road to enjoy it, well, you will have an inclination angle display available and also a downhill assist to help you. Die Luftfederung kann nicht die Bodenfreiheit in einem großen Bereich verändern, sondern bietet auch den Komfortierungskomfort und mehr Effizienz und mehr Effizienz bei der Fahrt auf der Autobahn durch eine bessere Aerodynamik. Dank des guten Aerodynamics Setup. Nun, Dierkes, wir haben noch nicht gesagt ein Wort über die Engines. Hier in Europa wir starten mit einem 2 Liter TDI Engine mit 150 Kilowatt und der Q540 TDI Quattro. Es ist folgt successively by two further power performances with 100 and 120 kilowatts and obviously also a 3 liter V6 TDI engine will be coming. When you look at the petrol engines, we've got a 2 liter TFSI with 150 kilowatts and 195 kilowatts on offer. And of course, the highly demanded TFSI E with a plug-in hybrid powertrain will also be part and parcel of the offer. All four-cylinder engines have a 12-volt mild hybrid system on board for efficient brake recuperation. And all six-cylinder engines have a 48-volt mild hybrid system. Now, the core components of the mild hybrid system are the belt starter generator and the lithium-ion battery as a storage. All the diesel engines come with a new twin-dosing SCR system on board. What you can see here is the twin dosing of the urea and blue into the exhaust system. This means a much better situative distribution and thus a particularly effective reduction of nitrogen oxides. In the previous systems for exhaust gas processing, there was only one SCR catalytic converter. But now with twin dosing, urea is now injected further away from the engine into a second catalytic converter. Thanks to the bigger distance to the engine, the temperature window for exhaust gas processing is extended, and that means emissions can, with continuously high exhaust temperatures, for example, if you drive swiftly over the motorway, can be best reduced. Now, Christian, one important powertrain version is one we've not spoken about so far. Which one is that? Well, yes, for the sporty customers, you will find we will have a, an emotional SQ5 on board coming to you soon. Well, I guess we could continue like this for some time, but I'm sorry to say we simply don't have the time for that. And therefore, let's start the Q&A session and let's hear from you. So just hook up using the Audi channel or write your question into the chat field. If we can't answer it straight away, we will make sure you will get the answer later after we've clarified it with our experts. Michaela, a question to you to start with. Where is the Q5 going to be built? Well, since 2016, we've been building our Q5 in Mexico. And of course, a new model will also come from Mexico. It works like a treat, and we're very happy to have that Mexican plant. Of course, we've also got a plant in China. That's where we are building the long version, but that's exclusive to the Chinese market. And the parts also come from Mexico partly? Yes, indeed. Some of the parts for China come from Mexico. Following that one, um, a question to Christian. Where are the engines supplied from? Are they also built on site or are they added? The 2 liter TFSI comes from the Volkswagen work in Puebla in Mexico and is from there directly shipped to San Jose Chapa, to our Audi plant there. 
the six-cylinder TFSI engines, as well as the entire diesel lineup of engines, come from our Audi plant in Gur in Hungary. Okay, so it's a very international network of supply and assembly. Now, a question to you, Ashley, as the designer. You work as a team, but of course, there's also a designer who, so to say, is in charge for that product upgrade. How can we imagine how this works? How has the team work done? Is everybody responsible for a particular segment, or have you got a democratic vote at the end? Well, principally speaking, we're one team, that's true. And we'll start out with a competition and simply to find out what is the best concept for that car. And then we continue to work as a team on that concept that we've picked. And of course, looking at the entire exterior design, we've got a de department like the light department, that's where I work, or, or for color trim or for the wheels. So it, it's, it's a big team effort, I must say. Do you have a personal favorite in the product upgrade of the Q5? Is there anything you would like to emphasize in particular? Well, uh, I'm, 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 I'm convinced of my own work in looking at the lights. I must say, I think they, they are, they're, they're well, well designed. And I'm quite happy with the process and with the people that helped me along the way to realize that light signature. And especially the OLED real light is something that I'm quite proud of, I must say. And I think we have, yeah, we'll, we'll We've touched a nerve there, and that will be quite successful on the market. Oh, befitting that, we've got a question here coming from Audi Japan. How, how the OLED detect approach, uh, detect vehicles approaching from the rear? I think I can answer that straight away. It's pretty straightforward because for the approximation detection, we use the already existing ultrasonic sensors in the rear bumper. And if an object comes into uh, that ray of the ultrasonic sensors that starts around about two meters behind the car, that signal will uh, be used so that all the OLEDs shine up and thus will well, light up. Uh, Kristen, question to you. We've not said a word about the transmissions that will be offered in the Q5. Answer, well, for the four-cylinder engines, we will use the S-Tronic transmission with seven speeds. And for the six-cylinder engines, we will use the already known Tiptronic with eight-speed transmission. Just for the guests, S-Tronic and Tiptronic, that's a different technology, isn't it? Yes, the Tiptronic is uh, uh, no, uh, transmi automatic transmission, while uh, the S-Tronic is a dual-clutch transmission. Now, what we haven't mentioned either is the luggage compartment. So, a question to you, Christian. Any changes here? And well, what is the, 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 the volume we can offer? The volume, says Christian, has remained unchanged. And depending on whether you've got the rear seat folded down or not, we can offer anything between 550 liters all the way up to 1,500 liters in trunk capacity with the rear seats folded down. I'd just like to mention we've got the rear seat bench plus that can be adjusted quite to your needs and you can um, shift the seats in the length so extend your clearance for the knees and also of course the inclination of the seats can be adjusted. That means you can adjust the comfort for those sitting in the rear for longer trips, or if you need extra space in your trunk compartment, you can also extend your trunk and luggage compartment with this movable rear seat bench. There's another question coming in. Any changes in the sheet metal, doors and fenders? Who of you could answer that? Michaela? Any changes to the material? Nope. No changes to the sheet metal with this model. But yes, the other parts have been greatly reworked. Well, with that, do you guess? We'll wrap up the first part of this sneak preview. Some of you have arranged for an appointment with our photographers and VJs. And 
I would now like to ask these guests to use the personal link they have received at the allocated time. And apart from that, I say thank you also on behalf of the team for participating and say goodbye to you for today. Thank you very much and see you soon again.